the shuttle launch control. We're at T-minus three hours in holding. We have joined the flight crew for the 41D mission in their quarters in the operations and checkout building, now having breakfast. Going from uh, left to right, as far as this crew is concerned, is Steve Hawley, one of the mission specialists, Mike Coates, who is the pilot, payload specialist Charlie Walker, and then Commander Hank Hartfield, Judy Resnick, and Mike Mullane, who is uh, another of the mission specialists on this particular flight. Mike Mullane will be MS-1, and Judy Resnick is the third member of the mission specialist team on this particular flight. Hank Hartfield will be making his second flight on this particular mission. He was a pilot on the shuttle's fourth flight aboard Columbia, which was also the last of the uh, shuttle test flights. Judy Resnick uh, will become America's second woman in space. She'll be responsible for extending the 102-foot solar wing that is part of the OS-1 package that's tucked away in Discovery's payload bay. She'll also operate the Canadian-built robot arm, which should provide some spectacular color television pictures from its elbow camera. Back in the firing room, things are very quiet. The closeout crew continuing their work in the crew module in the white room to get Discovery ready for the flight crew's arrival, which should occur about an hour and 30 minutes from now. And here is the flight crew for 41D, led by pilot Mike Coates, going down the hallway that will take them to an elevator, which will take them down to the ground floor of the operations and checkout building. Uh, accompanying the crew, uh, Director of Flight Operations, George Abbey, uh, head of the astronaut office, John Young, who will also be the weather pilot this morning. There's also a group of news media representatives at the OMC building uh, to photograph the crew as they leave their quarters uh, and prepare to take the trip to the launch pad. Commander Hank Hartfield leading his crew out of the operations and checkout building, joined by Steve Hawley, pilot Mike Pope, and Mike Mullane, Judy Resnick, Trailing the group of Taylor specialist Charlie Walker. safety to notify him when all the non-essential personnel have left the launch danger area roadblock and the closedown crew has completed their work in the white room. Uh, they should be leaving the pad very shortly. As they depart the pad, they will configure the elevators for launch. Flight crew has been performing another in a series of voice checks with mission control on the air-to-ground network. And as part of this test, Houston uh, updates the crew on the latest altimeter settings and runways to use in the event of a return to launch site abort into KSC or the transatlantic abort to the uh, airport at Dakar, Senegal. And this is Mission Control Houston. Ascent Flight Director Gary Cohen has polled the controllers here in the Mission Control Room, and all positions have given a go for launch. This is Mission Control. Coming up on the hold at the T-minus nine minute mark. Positioning older event doors coming up on a go from the ground computer to start the onboard round. T minus 31 seconds, we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. 
T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15. T minus 11. 10. We have a go for main engine start. Six. We have main engine start. Three, two, one. We have SRB ignition and we have liftoff. Liftoff of mission 41D, the first flight of the orbiter discovery, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Mission control confirms roll maneuver. Standing by to throttle down to 65% to begin passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Calling down in a two-step fashion, first 84%, then to 65%. Altitude 3.5 nautical miles, downrange distance 2 nautical miles, velocity 2150 feet per second. Passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Engines running at 65%, velocity 2400 feet per second. Throttling back up. Throttling to 104 percent. Discovery given go and throttle up. One minute, 30 seconds. Velocity 3,400 feet per second. Altitude 13 nautical miles. Downrange distance 8 nautical miles. 25 seconds away from SRB station. Engines running at 104 percent, velocity 4600 feet per second, altitude 20 nautical miles, downrange distance 15 miles. Standing by for SRB separation. Crew reports uh, PC less than 50. SRB separating. SRB confirmed velocity 5200 feet per second. Conversion is programmed. Altitude 30 nautical miles. Downrange distance 30 nautical miles. Discovery. 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 Discovery.